Hey y'all, welcome to Tea Priestess. I hope y'all are doing a lovely and feeling amazing, okay? This is a, a, <laughs> I don't know. This is something about the divine told me to tell y'all, okay? It's been like, I don't know. Today has been a day. It's been very interesting. Uh, very interesting, okay? And I don't know. But transforming like a transformer, okay? Oh. Transforming like a transformer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, stop pretending. All right. Okay, so there's something coming through that I discovered. Okay, respect me, ho. It's like, so with this manipulation of energy or whatever out here by people who can do that shit, okay? It's like, not only can they really like make people seem as if I don't fucking know how to explain this shit but it's like they can manipulate readings okay and have manipulated readings to where messages that come through but through cards okay they can only manipulate cards they cannot manipulate intuition and that's all some real shit they cannot manipulate intuition but they can confuse you. It's just if you understand your intuition, they can confuse you. It might be confusing, <laughs> but they cannot. They can't confuse you. Okay. And I'm I know I'm talking about they, they, they. I sound like DJ Kelly. <laughs> they can't stop you. But it's like some serious shit though. It's like don't be on no hating shit. 211. Okay. But it's like Okay. Okay. So that 223 two, on some regal shit. I'll that's the last card from here. You want me? Okay, 23. And then what's your fantasy on the back? 234. That's it in the middle. Okay. It's like people have created a fantasy. What's your fantasy? It's like it's like they be like, okay, we choose them to be like, okay, we gonna create a fantasy. And it can seem real. 304. 303 and then 304. Go time, whole time, God time. Okay? Two big threes just came through just now. Okay? Uh, so, they can really manipulate shit. They can really seem like it's real. With this Hogwarts and the whole shit. And this whole shit. <laughs> okay? And, you know, honestly for me, it's like... I'm tired of talking about Hogwarts and this whole type of shit. I really am. Because I'm ready to get back to <laughs> where God is just like, look, look at all this. <laughs> it's amazing, right? <laughs> okay, three, four, four. Shooting threes and riding on foes, okay? Like, I'm ready to get back to that. Two of swords, okay? Look, okay, so they be doing shit where it's like, you don't understand what the fuck they be doing, uh, but they do it. I don't know. I hope I just don't came through where it's like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. But, okay, things are related to suicide. It's like, if people can't get their sacrifice, okay, and they actually do this shit and becomes whatever, they have to commit suicide. Because they did not get the sacrifice. And because it's like, you here, Usher, here I stand, okay? You undefeated, okay? And so, people are going to have to commit <laughs> suicide. I'm not laughing at that, but it's like, <laughs> three of swords. Look, you can have, I don't know, but <laughs> I, can't, I can't help but laugh at that, okay? Because it's like, that shit is wild. It's like, 
you created a whole scenario for yourself. And now you left in the dust. Look, funeral by Lil Wayne just popped up. Funeral. You gon' you create <laughs> you created your whole ass funeral. <laughs> like rip the shit up and everything <laughs> because it's like they really thought that this sacrifice shit was gonna work. <laughs> Five twenty three. But it's also like it's like somewhere in your head you gotta be like, this shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> And it, I just saw five thirty, so boom, eight, boom. It's like they understood that this shit was not gonna work, and they still went through it. <laughs> Nine of Cups, and it's like, yeah, what's up, ho? <laughs> what's up, ho? It didn't work, huh? <laughs> the hermit, I'm good. Okay, God is revealing. The shit did not work. <laughs> And now it's like people are going to be committing suicide. And it might not even look like suicide 609, but it's really suicide, okay? Six of cups, all right? It's like, they gotta figure some shit out. That's what I'm getting from this card, and I'll never get that. Three of wands, but it's like they gotta figure some shit out. And it's 609. They gotta figure some shit the fuck out. There's an Anderson Park album, Venice. I remember when that first came out, I was a a sophomore. It was like, what year was that? Like 2012 or whatever, when I first discovered that shit. And I was like, oh my God. Cause the song, Coming Down. Coming Down, come on now. <laughs> Coming Down, that's it. And then DJ Khaled, we the best. Come on now. <laughs> we the best, mystical. Let's get ready. Come on now. Get ready. <laughs> it's amazing out here, okay? God's property. Kirk Franklin. Okay? You are God's property. These people think that you is their property. Okay? It's a it's a hell no for me, dog. <laughs> okay, big creep. Uh bury me and go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh T.I. and Rihanna, uh, what's on there? Live, live your life. Yep. You living your life out here and you gonna live your life. Hey. <laughs> For real. Okay? Like, fuck out of here. Okay? The high priestess. That's on God. That's on me <laughs> giving you this information. This is real. Okay? Fuck out of here. In the first seven minutes of it, look, seven, seven, seven. I done been, look, <laughs> come on, good. <laughs> okay, come on, good. Five of Cups, these people is sad. And I've been feeling like turning on the music, but 611, I'm just looking, enjoying looking at the album covers as they give me messages. <laughs> okay, look, uh, why I can't never, Lil CJ Casino, okay? Attack, it's attack, nigga. Like, <laughs> I got in here like attack, ho. Like all of my gorillas go attack. <laughs> attack. Look, and the thing is, uh, it's like people be observing black people out here, okay? As if they are in a zoo. And this shit is wild. But the thing is, some of them are also niggas. A five five. A good amount of them are niggas, and so these niggas be out here with these other people who are niggas. They are niggas to me. I'm saying that right now, okay? Like, like that's some <laughs> like what the fuck? It's like all these niggas is out here displaying have people people on display like they fucking monkeys, gorillas, whatever the fuck. I had this roommate one time and he was Asian. And I was just joining something that he was already in, but I was coming in late into the program or whatever. Um, but it was at the like a midpoint time, so with other people. But it was like I was supposed to come up with um like a spirit animal or something like that. And in the spirit animal, it's like I asked because me and my like we was chilling or whatever at the table in the uh, dining room or whatever. And we had like 
we were still getting to know each other, but we had kind of gotten cool-ish by that point, okay? Because we had been living there for a few months at that time. Something like that, 10, 10. And so it's like, this nigga, <laughs> he gonna say, I was like, what's my, like, what should be my spirit animal? Like, I don't know. I can't think of that. Because the question, I was like, okay, I don't know. And then I was like, what y'all think? <laughs> Something like that. And this nigga gonna say, a gorilla. And I was like, okay. And then <laughs> the other roommate, he was like, <laughs> he was like, I, I don't know about that, but I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> He just called me a gorilla. And this is after, again, a few months of living together. Uh-huh. So he revealed how he was truly thinking about me <laughs> the whole time. Okay? You right. You know, I don't know. It's something about niggas. And, you know, you can look at us. And you can look at fucking... <laughs> I'm not saying this, but I don't know because God has been making me look at shit, okay? And so I can see the resemblance, but it's also, okay, if that's the case and we look like monkeys, we look like gorillas, okay? I also see why the monkeys in these countries is going fed, okay? But it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> the 29th of June, okay? Blunt Talk Tape 6, Take High Sale, the slow edition. Is popping up and also I fuck with you. Okay. Uh Beyonce the Black album or whatever it's called, Beyonce album, the platinum edition, Migos, no label. It's like, okay, like we might have the noses, we might have the features or whatever. And so it looks as if we've evolved from there. And that could be the fucking case. Okay, cool. However, it's like you also use monkeys, gorillas apes whatever the fuck to learn about life out here they use them to do a whole bunch of shit they use monkeys or gorillas or fucking apes for everything i mean look at fucking king kong <laughs> look at fucking planet of the apes like it's like them niggas learn from them people but then the people taught them that shit and then the monkeys the gorillas the apes whatever they are it's planet of the apes it's like <laughs> they literally took over and was like nah we them niggas <laughs> okay and so it's like okay cool if y'all gonna call us apes call us monkeys call us gorillas in this house all right well watch us fucking take the fuck over <laughs> i don't know it's something like that but it's already it's like they know that we can take over because we have not even take over but just run shit run shit they just don't want us to run shit in any fucking way and make it seem like we are the fucking uh people behind the cage when in reality it's like i don't know it's like we have watched them and so because we because they have taught us and so because they have taught us we understand what the fuck they know but we also understand what the fuck we know look it's like the flip clap the flip clap phone and the fucking facetime and it's like us niggas we understand the flip clap and the fucking FaceTime because we un we done been there and done that with a whole bunch of shit out here. And these people who only know fucking FaceTime because they got this new technology, they done uh, been able to benefit off of like 617, been able to fucking benefit off of like all the shit that the flip clap done did, okay? So all this shit that black people done did out here. And they've been benefiting off of it on some FaceTime shit. Okay, 1414. And so they only know the the benefit. They only know the privilege. They only know that shit. Okay? And so it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like they really have been making it seem as if we are the ones on display when we really know all this shit okay and it's like uh-uh y'all gotta stop fo 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 like it's like nah you on display ho you on display how about you be behind the cage nigga 
I saw this, uh, this white woman, which is usually this issue is a black woman issue. Okay. Is this white woman, uh, an article that just today, I didn't read it, but I just saw the title. I clicked on it a little bit, but it's like, she is, was pregnant, has been pregnant, whatever. It was birth time. She went to the hospital and was like, uh, huh? She was like, <laughs> whenever God is giving me big, big, big things like this, one thing that God do is like, I can be passing by somebody and this could be at the store. This could be in public anywhere. It's public somewhere. It's like God be making people sneeze. <laughs> And I'm so serious. And so I'm just remembering to two times God has made people sneeze. And these are two white women. Random f random people. But I understood, Stan, when God do that, that, that it means something. Like something. Because it's like sneeze is like respect. <laughs> okay? It's like that. And so look, respect me, ho. It's like that. Okay, so this white woman, people are going to start learning some big respect out here, okay, 619, because of what the fuck they going through. And this is because of, like, they own people, okay? Um, so on their end, not our end no more. Oh, I mean, we got to work on that. <laughs> but it's like on their end, okay? And that's why things are really about to get better for us because they really understand it on their end. But this woman... And like they really, uh, <laughs> I'm getting to it, but it's, <laughs> it's like this woman is okay. No, these people are really like, really going to have a big understanding. And it's been coming through some readings where it's like the reparations reading just, okay. Um, I didn't watch it, but I, I, I see you good. Okay. <laughs> it's like, these people are really going to have a big understanding because their lives is really going to resemble nigga shit. Okay, it's like God, like, okay, <laughs> it's like, all right, you want to steal off of niggas, you want to bop off of niggas, all right, what well, shit, how about you be a nigga, mm -hmm. how about you experience nigga shit, so that way you can understand, and I mean, this is like real nigga shit, like shit niggas have been through, <laughs> and I have to say it just like that, I, I want to say black people, but it's also, I'm saying niggas, because they created nigga shit, and so this is nigga shit, okay? And so, like, we can take back, we can do nigga shit, like us, but on they end, they don't know nothing about that. They only have watched and observed and learned and used it and made money off of it, done big things off of it, but not give back to us on some shit, okay? FaceTime, ho. Okay. And so, they about to learn the flip clap. Uh-huh, 9-11. They learning the flip clap now. And they don't like the flip clap. Because that's like going back to a fucking literal fucking flip phone on some shit. And it's like, what? I don't have no no screen. I don't have no touch screen. It's just pressing the buttons and the buttons is actually real type shit. A32 H Town. It's like you only can flip up. You might have the, the uh, snake on there. <laughs> The snake game. Okay, I remember all that. It's like, that's all. That's all. Look, that's all. <laughs> that's all. That's all you get. Learn that, ho. And then, maybe you might learn some fucking FaceTime again. Uh, or have access to the FaceTime. Okay. So, now, going back to this woman. Lil Kiki peeping, peeping in my window. I needed to say that real quick. Okay. And then the Carrie Hilson with all eyes on me when I walk in. Okay, and then Crash Talk. Uh, I'm not getting a specific song off of there. But, no, I'm not getting a specific song. But Big Crit Crit is here. Crash Talk is a uh, schoolboy cute. Crit is here, Big Crit. Okay, all of my Gemini is coming out. And so I need to make that known because I know I've been going whatever. But it's like, it's the Gemini. It's Gemini, Mars and Gemini is very heavy. And so it's very, <laughs> if you a Gemini, you very in your Gemini energy, okay? I saw a Gemini, Gemini appear also uh, by, what's his name? 
Macklemore, Macklemore, uh, that popped up. Okay, Young Dolph, Rich Crack Baby. Okay, something for the highs, uh, making the stallion. I don't know, 623. Okay, so going back to this woman, it's like she was in the hospital and she uh, was bleeding or whatever, okay, 2017. And she was like telling them or whatever, like telling them like, hey, this going on, whatever. And she thought she was going to get the treatment that she thought she was going to get, okay? Because of what she looked like mm -hmm. and how they're supposed to treat them out here. And they sent her, <laughs> I'm not going to say it like, but <laughs> they sent her home. They sent her home and she continued to bleed. She's still alive because she's still in the story, but she continued to bleed. They sent her home just like that. That's normally a black woman issue, okay? Maybe also with a Latino, Latinx woman, women, Hispanic women, but a very big issue with black women. And normally you don't hear no stories about no white women getting treated like that, especially with pregnancy birth like no they they don't go through that shit okay i've never heard a story like that this is all there was a reading where it's like you ain't never heard of this shit it's stuff happening where you it's like what <laughs> what that was a reading you gonna be like what <laughs> that was a can see reading and then on the moon my single it's a beat Go listen to that on the moon. I'm really proud of that. It's a very cancerous, cancerous, cancerian beat, okay? Literally on the moon. And the there's a reading that I did last year, Cancer on the moon and back, to the moon and back, something like that. And it's literally something like this, what's coming out in this reading, okay? Um, where it's like you went to the moon, and Wale, where the baby hand is holding the moon. Oh my gosh. You literally went to the moon, grabbed that shit, grabbed the information, got the information that you need to know, and back here. I'm also feeling as if a lot of my readings are turning into like, I don't know. Like I'm getting this information straight from God, <laughs> two, three, four. I don't know how to say that differently, but it's like the readings sound different to me. Like at first it was like, it's on a still a collective thing. It very much is. However, I don't know. I'll have to discuss that. <laughs> I'll have to discuss that with God. Okay. <laughs> Deciphering, okay. The message is right here in front of my face. The message is being deciphered, okay? Seven of Swords, reverse. I was holding it reverse, so I'm going to keep it reverse. I just saw 23 and 304. So it's like go time, whole time, God time. And then also on some ghost shit, okay? Uh, Khalees, the hits, okay? Um, Seven of Swords, reversed is like, they got to figure some shit out. Nine of Pentacles, because people getting their shit look on some very real shit people is getting <laughs> people getting they shit because they on that dark shit king of cups two three four two two three three four okay king of cups is winning in this hoe winning come on now the song is here for a reason three four six h town okay like my songs are readings okay my beats if it's a beat or a song that I, or a beat that i made it to a song it's a reading. <laughs> it's a reading. It really is. And I have understood that. It's a reading. It might not come true like right then and there, but that's a reading for the time period, okay? It's like, look, God is amazing. Six of Wands, okay? So that's why it's like, you want a reading? Listen to my music on some very real shit. Like Spotify, uh, Apple Music. Just put that shit on shuffle, just my shit, and put it on I'm, I mean, it's coming through right now because I'm serious. I do this myself. And I'm not just advertising myself like that. But I'm saying, like, if you don't want to watch readings, but you want a reading, you want, like, a quick message. It's, like, every title that I have, every fucking the sounds, it might make you think of something, a whole scenario. Like, if it's just a beat, 
it's like if it's a song it's like it's like whatever it's telling the time period okay and that's any song also like you can do that for any songs any music any music just shuffle press three times four times however however you gotta be like press that four times <laughs> i don't know press shuffle four times press shuffle five times however scroll up and just laying and that's the song like it happens just like that okay but it's like they're readings they can tell you some shit without like watching a whole ass reading mm -hmm. i get messages in all types of places blunt talk to payback take nine okay i feel like people are mad that messages can come in all types of ways <clears throat> and not just from cards especially if you like a tarot reader or some shit uh or i'm saying tarot reader a tarot reader like just tarot like you could do intuitive messages also but just with the tarot that's what they can manipulate and so they be it's like they can't manipulate nothing else but they can man, they can manipulate some things but they cannot mm, in a way not really though because it's all in the mind like they can manipulate your mind and they can manipulate your mind to think shit because they're in your energy okay six two nine on god okay and so it's like because they can do that weird shit it's like they can make you believe whatever i said this i don't know i don't know why i'm talking about this now but it's like i said whatever i need to say with that because the six of wands is like i'm here hoes what's up and you can't stop me i'm hercules ho <laughs> queen of pentacles <laughs> hercules is a song too go listen to that it's on my album and it's a single hercules okay queen of pentacles it's like what's up you ain't stop me though temperance okay you been out here on your shit looking cute <laughs> That's a reading. You on your shit looking cute. Okay. Eight of Swords, 2711. And it's like, Eight of Swords, they like, oh, wow. We don't know what else to do. We don't know what to do. We don't know what else to do. I feel like things are getting revealed for real. Will of Fortune, things are really getting revealed. And because they're getting revealed in whatever ways, it's like, oh, wow. Six of Pentacles, they got to do what they got to do. And what they got to do is give some money. Give that money. Because they've been giving people crumbs and shit. It ain't no more crumb time, ho. <laughs> and it's like, look, you get down there. <laughs> you enjoy them crumbs, ho. Page of Cups, okay? Like, God is really turning some shit around. And I mean that. It's really going to be like a whole thing the ghetto okay the ghetto <laughs> this shit is ghetto <laughs> it's like they wanted the ghetto they got the ghetto these people have created the ghetto all over the place on some very real shit like it's like because like think about houston like right now okay jay dilla donuts okay he laughing because it's like it's it's like a a like i told y'all <laughs> i'm just not understanding it with the Jay Dilla donut. Come on now. Look, I'm going to say this. But the night that Jay Dilla passed away, it's like this shit was wild as fuck. But it's like I was listening to music and I had just saw on Instagram or something that he had passed away. And then all of a sudden, a song, something about from Jay Dilla. It could have been from Donuts. <laughs> I don't know. But he popped up and I was like, whoa whoa and now it's coming through now to be like i told y'all <laughs> i told y'all 29 11 i told y'all it wasn't gonna work i told y'all she would figure it out i told you <laughs> i told y'all i told y'all okay they was trying to wake up the dead and shit and do all types of fucking shit use make people make people pass away in order to use them in the dead but that shit don't work okay okay it's just like that um anita baker rhythm of love okay the neptunes presents clones 
and that just went away in front of my face. Okay, Beyonce, I don't know what I was saying before that, but if, okay, the first Beyonce album, like Beyonce, okay, what's on there? What's it called? Dangerously in Love, okay? There is a song, Daddy, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's called Daddy. <laughs> It's like, she, it's like, okay, witches or whatever, they put like a, it's a something that, I don't know, they put it somewhere. And then from there, it starts like a whole thing, 333. It like starts a whole thing, something like that. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a witch. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's something like that. I'm thinking about The Conjuring, but I'm. Like, I can see it with her. I've seen it with Astro Queen, okay? Uh, I've seen it. I can understand it. They play something, like, in, in an art piece, okay? So, like, music, like an album, but it's a song. And you listen to that song, and then it's like an idea gets planted, okay? Or you, you take action off of that song, okay? It's like... Astro Queen, she did a reading or she does readings, but there was last year one point in time where she literally placed like a, uh, it was like a something magic literally in the reading. And it's not at the beginning. It's, it's like at the end, but not really at the end. It's a ritual. Okay. That's popping up right now. Te caso, I'm that nigga. What's up? Okay. Um, <laughs> Blunt talk tape for the purple tape. Okay. Te caso. Wiz Khalifa. Deal or no deal, ho. Um, <laughs> okay. It's like they place something in they shit. Uh, who is Mike Jones? They have people fucked up. Okay. It's... <laughs> Look, grandma. <laughs> Nuck if you buck, ho. <laughs> Oh, some very real shit. It's it's another shit. It's another song on there, and that be go hard on crime mob shit. I can't. I'm not looking at it right now. But go listen to the crime mob, and it's like they on there. It's like a golden background. I don't know how to describe that. Most of them, a few of them, got white tees on. Okay, like the long white tee time. Okay, uh. And then I just got yep in my white tee. That's not them, but I'm getting that right now. And then Soldier Boy with the white tee on. <laughs> okay, look, white tees could be coming back, and I mean, like, I don't know about long, but maybe something like that. I don't know. That'd be cool if that <laughs> if that came through. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Um, Megan the Stallion with the three faces or whatever anxiety whatever that with the anxiety or some shit is on <laughs> okay uh club god three shooting the three club god i don't know in the club god <laughs> i don't know why i'm deciphering club god three okay i don't know i lost my train of thought gemini shit <laughs> honks outside seven of pentacles okay uh seven of pentacles it's like, and I was really on a roll, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, okay. <laughs> Gemini shit, okay? Seven of Pentacles is like, <sighs> look at what y'all did. Look at what y'all did. Three, three, four, four. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. That's Drake. That's that's off of nothing was the same. And he in the clouds. That one. It's in that. It's like, look at you, look at you, and look at you. Mm -hmm. two of wands okay look it's like look at you now you gotta deal with the shit that you have created y'all wanna ghetto okay what she you got ghetto out <laughs> queen of swords I don't know what that means in, in all retrospect but it'll unfold and it'll be seen but it's like y'all want ghetto the ghetto is her okay y'all have created ghetto okay queen of swords it's like it's like, because ghetto is like, hold up. The definition of ghetto. <laughs> because it's like, that's some real shit. Because if you want to talk about like certain things, like the Holocaust or whatever, the shit that they lived in was the ghetto. Like they were called ghettos, okay? And so 3446, okay? It's like, 
they caught them that shit. Like, did not them, but the shit that they lived in. Okay, a ghetto, often called the ghetto, is a part of a city in which members of a minority group live, especially as a result of political, social, legal, environmental, or economic pressure. Ghettos are often known for being more impoverished than other areas of the city. Versions of the ghetto appear across the world, each with their own names, classifications, and groupings of people. Okay? So, ghetto is not necessarily black people. Mm -hmm. The term was originally used for the Venetian. This is off of Wikipedia, but I mean, I, I have studied ghetto uh, in school before, and I feel like before college, okay? Uh, the term was originally used for the Venetian ghetto. Like, I feel like I learned this shit in, like, whenever we was fucking learning about the Holocaust and shit. Like, either middle school or something like that. Maybe high school, something like that. Used for the Venetian ghetto in Venice, Italy, as early as 1516 to describe the part of the city where Jewish people were restricted to live and thus segregated from other people. However... Early societies may have formed their own versions of the same structure. Words resembling ghetto in meaning appear in Hebrew, Yiddish, Italian, Germanic, Old French, and Latin. 3636. Okay. During the Holocaust, more than a thousand Nazi ghettos were established to hold Jewish populations with the goal of exploiting and killing the Jews as part of the final solution. The term ghetto has deep cultural meaning in the United States, especially in the context of segregation and civil rights. As such, it has been widely used in the country to refer to poor neighborhoods. It is also used in some European countries, such as Romania and Slovenia, to refer to poor neighborhoods, <laughs> okay? All people is fucking ghetto. Y'all wanted the ghetto? The ghetto is created. Queen of Swords, there you go. Shit is ghetto out here. 37, 37. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups, how about them apples? <laughs> How about them apples, okay? What's up? Ace of Cups, there you go, okay? And today, I was finishing up my first class and I was on the way to go chill and study before my next two classes. Um, And the song, la, 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 wait till I get my money right. Oh, <laughs> you got it, babe. Okay, Kanye West. What's it called? Can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Look, I've said in these readings, and I've said it for a long time. I don't fuck with Kanye. <laughs> I don't fuck with Kanye, okay? There's still certain things I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck with it, Okay? The whole slavery is a choice thing. I'm still, I still gotta, <laughs> I don't, I still don't understand, nigga. However, listen. It's like, I don't know. Whatever he's opening up with this shit, okay? With the whole Jewish thing shit, okay? It's like, for me personally, I've said this. White people are white people to me, okay? Like, I don't know the difference. I don't know the difference. You could tell me, you from here, you from there. Okay, cool. I'm black, okay? I'm black. I only know myself as black. I don't know myself from anywhere else, okay? I don't have that privilege. So for you to be like, yeah, I'm this and I'm that. Okay, cool. But you just white to me, okay? It's like, that's where I don't understand why Kanye said that shit. And like, really like, was like, Cause even Dave Chappelle said that shit. Like, you, you know, you ain't have to call them Jews, nigga. <laughs> you don't have to call them Jews. Like, because it's like, in some way they know that. Okay, cool. 
like we in some way know that we're African in whatever ways, not right now, but we used to be in some way, okay? It's like, but you call me African to my face and I'm be like, the fuck? I'm gonna be like, the fuck? What? Do I look African? I mean, like, do I look African to you? I'm black. I have, my people literally have been here for 400 plus years. It's like, nah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure the African is there, but it's like, it's also not. Like a whole nother culture has been created at this point. A whole nother, like we are black, okay? Just black. And that's fine. That's amazing, okay? Because we have done that. We have created a whole, a whole thing for ourselves, okay? 40-40. And so it's like with Kanye being like calling them out in that way and like distincting them. It's like, why? <laughs> and he keeps doing it. It's like, just call them white. I don't get it. Because they look at you as black. Just black. And they like, they're not like, oh yeah, you Nigerian. Or you uh, Ethiopian. Or you uh, South African. Or you, like, they know exactly where we come from. I don't know. Unless you're actually calling out Nigerians. Or <laughs> mostly Nigerians, okay? Unless you're actually calling them out. Maybe, Ethi I don't know, Ethiopians also. People who have came over here who act like white people and they do white people shit and they are benefiting off of the fact that black people have built up this shit, okay? So, yes, I'm talking about because in D.C. there's a big-ass Ethiopian population, okay? And, uh... Here, uh, uh, Texas or uh, fucking Houston is a big ass Nigerian population. It could be big ass fucking pop populations of African people from different African countries in other places. But whatever the fuck is going on, it's like they like Irish, they like the uh, Polish, they like whoever the fuck I just named. And like you can, you can be like, uh, it's like they came from wherever fuck because it was ghetto over there or some shit. <laughs> it was ghetto over there and Italian, okay? Uh, old French and Latin, okay? Germanic, okay? Whoever the fuck these people are. Romanian, Slovenian, the people that then came over here and, you know, they, they be uh, Indians, you know, whatever. It's like they be up in this shit, up in America, and they came over, and they're like, oh, yeah, I like this FaceTime. <laughs> this FaceTime good. Look, everything already built. We ain't got to do shit. I love it. And they took advantage of us, okay? And Nigerians, like fucking Toby and Wigway and his people, they out here doing the same shit. And I'm going to keep calling out Toby and Wigway, and I might not be saying his last name right. I don't give no fucks because, nigga, you got me fucked up. And you got black people fucked up because you over here, you over here, like, acting like you you one generation in, nigga. I don't feel like, like either that nigga was born here or not. But it's like your parents just came over here one generation before you or the generation of you. And you, you, like y'all ain't even been here. My people been here. We have been doing this shit. And it's like we built all this shit. Like, like it's like, yeah, and y'all just coming over here acting like white people. That's why they be like, oh yeah, we gotta be engineers and doctors and lawyers and all that shit because they gotta come over here and and be like white people and be better than black people because being black is just not. It's ghetto, okay? It's just so ghetto to these people. I was at an Indian thing, uh, a Native American something on campus, and it was this video that is like the New York Times or some shit, and it's like these Native American people, because you know they intermix just like with white people, intermix with fucking black people, and so they confuse like shit because they like... Uh, they don't want to look darker. They don't want to be darker. They don't want to have black in them. Like, it's like, they are so, like, they hate being black. They hate, if any black is in them, they hate that shit. It's like, everybody hate being black, but they want to be a nigga. Come on now, buddy. <laughs> buddy. 
that's a song. Everybody want to be black, but everybody want to be a nigga black. Okay? It's like, fuck out of here. Like, everybody want to be black, but everybody don't want to be no nigga. Enjoy being a nigga now, ho. Because the nigga shit is coming through. Because y'all have created the fucking ghetto. This is the ghetto. Nothing but the ghetto. I see the ghetto every single day, and I'm like, wow. This is really how life is now. Like, these people, I feel like people people don't even realize how much of black culture they have taken on, but they really have done that shit. And it's like, wow. <laughs> wow. And it's like, page of wands. What's up, Pope? What's up? Y'all enjoy this surprise of being ghetto. The ghetto. Ten of wands. Yeah. They gonna, they gonna see some shit. And it's like, niggas... Real niggas gonna be out here winning. And it's like, enjoy them apples. Enjoy them berries. <laughs> enjoy them apples and berries and pineapples and mangoes. <laughs> and all that shit, okay? Dragon fruit, whatever the fuck. Enjoy it all, okay? Because that's what y'all getting. And it's not actually that shit. It's gonna be... <laughs> Because also at the same time, it's like with the whole population thing, it's like they really have done that shit. I don't know. It's something with population that's pop popping up right now. Mm -hmm. Population. Because we just made it to like eight fucking billion, trillion, whatever people on this earth. That's a six to nine on God. Maybe not trillion, billion. That's a lot of people. Okay. Eight billion. And we have gotten up to eight billion in 12 years. That means like what another ten million? Another 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 ten years from now, it's like who knows how many people will be on this earth alone. Okay? It's like y'all want a ghetto, y'all created the ghetto. I don't know. It's something dealing with population and shit. And that's that's why. Cause it's like they can't control. <laughs> they can't not like control, but it's like they can't. It's too much. They've created too much, okay? Too much. 713 H-Town. And it's not like created too much, too many people, but also in the same sense, it's like maybe because of the things that, the ghetto shit that they be focusing on, <laughs> the ghetto shit they be focused on out here, uh, people are living longer, but also it's like they're, because there's a big focus on sex and shit. It's like people be having all these babies. And so it's like the that shit is adding on to population con pop population increasing and shit like that. Something like that. And so it's like it's like them publicly like focusing on sex, 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 sex. Like, yes, we are all birthed from fucking sex. Like, duh. But it's like, do we have to talk about that shit all the fucking time? No. Like, that shit is stupid. Like, I just hate, like, I don't know. It's like, yes, we all come from sex. We do, literally. Literally, in some fucking ways, you come from sex, okay? That's a true thing. Whether you want to think about that shit or not. Or in some, it, it might not be full sex or sex. It could have been sexual harm, but in some way, it's some form of, like, fucking a sexual encounter, okay? And so sex is very rampant because people want to focus on that because that's all they can focus on. It's like people only want to focus on their birth. <laughs> I don't fucking know, but it's something like that. They only want to focus on their birth and the things that reminded them of birth or being a baby. People are <laughs> very, <laughs> people are very fucking... sex obsessed and i've said that before the sex obsession has led to a whole bunch of shit and now we in the ghetto welcome to the ghetto say that shit okay that's it darkness was niggas only friend now it's not about to be no more and they mad mm -hmm. i'm good I love you good. Big money on the way. Come on now. Y'all tried it for real, for real. And now God is showing. Uh, 
they got the green light on some. It's literal green light right now. Like literal, it just turned, but you could kind of still <laughs> see the green. <laughs> literal green, okay? You can't confuse me about me. It's like, okay, y'all want the nigga shit? Y'all want to be niggas? Experience with being a nigga is like, and it's like, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fuck them people. It's really just like that. It's like, fuck them people. It's like, I mean, on some real shit. It's like, you could be places. You could have understandings of things. People could be like, look, shit matching up. Yeah, because I just got an understanding of some shit. Okay? And it's like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> whenever, you know, I was like, oh, okay. You know, like, I can understand that. But I wasn't, I wasn't about to sit there and talk about it. But I can understand it. And so I was like, had I had known... Yeah, it's like, I can understand it because I've been there, done that before, literally. But it's like, 